I mean, basically, climate change is real and it is happening now. And we are at a tipping point. Little Walden Moss that we're stood on right now, five years ago, was being extracted for peat. To do that, you'd need to drain all the water off and you are destroying the habitat. From an ecological sense, it was, it was horrendous, let's be blunt. We were told that we could not restore it. You can't actually create a peatland. You know, much like you could create a, a woodland, for example, you can plant some trees, which is great. But once a peatland is gone, it's, 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 it's gone. There's nothing you can do. So the figure that's always put out is 98% has been destroyed. So that is destroyed, it's gone. 2% being left is, is incredibly rare. We don't have any pristine peatland anymore. By helping to restore and protect all of our ecosystems, but especially some of these real superhero carbon stores, such as our peatlands are, we can make a genuine difference. Peatlands have a few key benefits. I mean, it's important not to apply a hierarchy as such and be like, oh, this is way better than this habitat, because everything serves a purpose within the wider kind of ecosystems. But peatlands themselves, you know, work as a flood defence, uh, they act as a, a water filter. A uh, carbon store is a really key one. They can store twice as much carbon as forests. It's fortunate that we have so much of it within the lowland regions of Greater Manchester, only a short distance from the city centre itself. We can turn them back into carbon sinks. Bear peat emits carbon, but we're working to re-wet it and re-vegetate it, and we can literally get the peat beneath our feet to fight climate change. We have a chance and the ability to actually restore it. As long as you have at least a metre, a metre and a half of peat, there's hope. It's a responsibility really, isn't it? On this site, you're seeing change in six months. A lot of large scale planting has gone on, over a quarter of a million plants in the last few years. That's positive, that is working. Damaging our peatlands to fill cheap bags of compost, it's got to stop. We know the harm that damage to our peatlands causes to our climate, so we need to stop doing it, and we need to stop doing it now. We can literally do anything we want, so why not do something positive? What harm will it do you? Nice and simple, isn't it? That's, 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 again, my simple view on things, that's how I do it. <laughs>